Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. Okay, so where do you get your budget from to go to the Philippines? Primarily, I would say do a fact finding tour. I really do, because uh, you might get there and hate it. There's a lot of expats that hate the Philippines. They won't admit it because they committed to it. They've sold everything in the West and moved there. They can't go back. And they, a lot of them would move hell and high water rather than go, I made a mistake, and then have everybody that they know back home go, I told you so. But other people love it. Um, I love it. And although I find it difficult being there 12 months of the year simply because... Um, I like engagement with other people. Uh, Philippines, you can lose that sometimes simply because I struggle to get people with the the same interests and intellect. Um, I've got a very small niece, to be honest. Uh, funny enough, we all have the same uh, sort of small grouping. It's, uh, I suppose it's a bit like the Big Bang Theory or whatever it is, um, where you just have those same similar types of people that just stick together. Um, I'm, I'm one of those guys. I, I mean, I'm quite geeky in that way. I like, I'm, I'm into robotics, I'm into um, drones and programming things. Um, nothing wrong with that, that's what I do. I'm an engineer. <laughs> but the, the point being, off on another tangent, um, Get money for three or four months. I would say budget probably fifteen hundred dollars a month. Um, you're probably not going to spend it all. You may find that after four months you've got enough to stay another two months and then decide to stay. Um, but if you have a big enough budget, you can travel around because there's so much to see in the Philippines. Um, some people go, oh, every town's the same. It's not. Every town's different. Every, and also, people are different. You know, a lot of people are may even seem this look the same, but they're very different. Once you get into the workings of people, you can spot people from different islands and stuff. Uh, once you've been there long enough to identify people and. Um, that's why Filipinos know everybody. You know, they can tell where somebody's from just by looking at a person. But anyway, the the point being, getting a four month budget is much easier than trying to up roots and move for good. And the other thing is, you might go to the Philippines and decide you don't like it. But the upside is, you'll come back with stuff up here. Um, the first thing is, you'll get a perspective on poverty. Um, because reality is, most people in the West don't even know what poverty is. Um, it's like when you see the charity videos going, this poor person lives on a dollar a day. Yes, for a dollar a day, they can eat out every day. <laughs> the cost of living is a lot cheaper. Um, I know people that, I remember my wife's sister, Joby, saying about a woman up in the mountains with two kids and they have a carabao and stuff. They only needed 183 or 186 pesos uh, for a week. Why? Because they grow their own food. The houses pay, but there's no mortgage. All the houses were all, uh, all the land was given away during the Marcus reign because basically you could take the lot and as long as you paid the taxes, it was yours. Um, so there's a lot of land ownership. So, that sort of stuff, you can live quite cheaply up in those places. Um, but obviously, there's a lot of poor as well. You got people sleeping on the streets. You got drug addicts. You got people being coerced into drugs, and it's a problem. But you will get a perspective on poverty. Um, but also, that poverty doesn't mean that you have to have no morals. You have to be dirty. You have to be. Um, uh, a bad person. There's a lot of very, very poor people that are some of the most uh, polite people I've met. They're not only polite, they're welcoming, which is 
um, they're proud to have you as a friend. They want you to come and visit them at their house, even though they're a bit ashamed of the house. People, the amount of people said, "Oh, I, I'm embarrassed by my house because I'm so poor." It's, I don't care, you know. Um, I see people as people, so I don't mind, you know. I'm not <laughs> at the end of the day. Everyone's a person, and but you'll get that perspective, and you'll start to see get more values on things. Um, You'll hear me going about mobile phones. When I look at a mobile phone, it's like 400, 600 pounds. I'm thinking, you're having a laugh. Why would anybody pay that for a phone? Um, I don't get it. I mean, I, I do admit I spend it on camera equipment. Um, that's my pet, pet project. But it always comes at the cost of working overtime. It doesn't come out of my normal day-to-day -day budgets comes from working over in a project where it's run over and I've got extra money. It does not come from the day-to-day uh, -day funds. Um, but you will find that the Philippines will change your perspective on a lot of things in a very, very good way. Um, it will help you develop as a person. Because I think the West is too insular. Um, I get really frustrated on the UK at the moment because people are selfish. Um, I'll do a video on the UK because um, it's going to be a rant one and then you can just not bother watching it. <laughs> but I just wanted to say my perspective because a lot of people think I am anti-American, anti-British, etc. You need to understand it first, which is why I'll explain my version. <laughs> but the visiting the Philippines will change your perspective. It will be very healthy for you to visit the Philippines. But also you'll make a decision whether you want to live there or not and you're very likely to meet the love of your life uh like it or lump it it's very likely to happen um i know a lot of people had no intention of meeting people um and they're all happily married <laughs> so yeah go to the philippines experience it and i said fact finding for three four months won't hurt you um too much financially if you, do, if you come back, the worst case scenario is you're a better rounded person. Best case scenario is you're a better rounded person, love it and going back um, after winning the lottery. Um, but you get a perspective on why you're doing it. So the, I say put it three, four months behind. Um, budget wise, I'd say about one and a half thousand dollars a month. You probably won't spend it. Um, but it will give you the flexibility to travel around and if you can travel around you will find that you'll find areas you love you'll find areas you hate you'll find areas that you want to live in because it's between the two um, it'll be well worth the trip um, even if you're doing some charity stuff you know if you get involved with a charity and go out and do something you the advantage you got with that is you've got somebody who'll take care of you while you're out there, but also it gives you a good perspective, um, and you already have people that you'll know. It all depends what you're looking for, but you might find that useful if you're new to traveling, because um, a lot of church groups and stuff organize things. Um, and that could be beneficial for somebody that's a bit worried about the travel stuff and because they'll meet you there and deal with all the headache stuff for you but anyway highly recommend it I love the Philippines and I would say go and do it there's no downside alright thanks for watching yeah.